Don't be foolish and humanize AI content. With this tool, you'll be able to bypass GPT-0, Turnitin, and more AI detector tools. It's called Rhino AI, and it has a bunch of tools that I want to show you on this video. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is Rhino AI, and one of my favorite features is the humanizer because it's provided along the way. That means that we can start up a chat with AI, and we'll be able to humanize the results that we receive by just clicking on the humanize button, along with creating AI essays and a whole lot more. Now, in this case, you can grab right now Rhino AI with a free plan, or you can jump into a paid plan. Plus, they also have bonuses to earn more points to use AI, which is pretty cool, right? So let's jump over to the dashboard. As I mentioned before, it has a humanizer, but I first want to get started with Ryan Chat. Ryan Chat will provide you several models available to use the AI right away. So for example, if I click on GPT 4.0 down here, we'll be able to select the model. And as of this video, we have available all these AI providers that you can select and start using right away. Even DeepSeek V3 with Llama 3.1 and all the providers that are available right now. So I'll use GPT 4.0 for this purpose. And I can do, for example, I'll just create a graph right now really quickly with this chat. But as I mentioned before, what I like about it is the option to humanize the result. So let's give it a few seconds to create that graph for us. OK, so we just got the first result right here, and it's a graph. Now, every single time that we get a result, we are going to get an AI score and the option to humanize it. Now, this is one of my favorite features, because if I want to use this and I don't want to get detected that I'm using AI, I'll just go ahead and humanize this right now. I'll just go ahead and humanize this right now. So here we go. It's humanized now and it's only 1% AI detected. So that means that it just changed the result right here and it's now humanized. And I can go ahead and continue with my chat right here. Different models, different options available and then humanize along the way. And that's for me, the key feature that I love about it along with humanizing in other sections. So there's several tools available because you also have the humanizer that will also work by adding text into this. So if I bring inside of here some text that I might have gotten, I can go ahead and humanize it right here. So let me go ahead and paste it really quickly. OK, so I'm going to paste this right here. I got it straight from GPT 4.0 and automatically I'm getting the score of 99% detected as AI. Obviously, we want to humanize this and that's what the tool is going to do. It's going to rewrite the content so it's not detected via the AI detectors. So here we go. Now it's a 6% AI. So that's a really small probability of getting detected. And you can see right here, the AI detector is bypassing Turnitin, a GPT-0, right from here. So you know that this is going to bypass the most popular tools that people are using to detect AI. So if you can, you can bypass those two and the other tools that this one is also working with, you're definitely good to go with Ryan AI. So that's how the humanizer detector works. And you can go ahead and obviously use the tweaking options right here for the languages, writing style and content type that will help you humanize this in your style. The next tool I want to show you is the SA composer. So if you need to compose an essay for your school projects, etc., this will actually do it for you. Now, I want to mention a really good key feature that Ryan AI has is that it can actually generate genuine references for your essays. If it has links, you can actually click on them and they will work. Not like ChatGPT, where the links are always broken. So Ryan AI has actually done the job really well and they've done their research. So let me show you right here. For example, this is an essay that I generated, the impact of magnesium oxide on your body. And let me show you the links. They actually come from reputable backgrounds. So I'm going to scroll down here from this essay that I generated. And we're going to get links, for example, from medicineplus.gov, drugs.com, healthline.com, webmd, uh, even from edu. So these are links that actually do work. So let me go ahead and open up really quickly because this is really, like as I mentioned before, it's a key feature that is really interesting because ChatGPT, I'm always getting broken bat links. And having that on an essay, well, that means you didn't actually do it yourself or you didn't study it at all. So having links that work is crucial. Okay, now let's go back into the essay composer. In this case, I really like the results that I got for this because it's actually genuine. It's not something that someone will ask uh, commonly is the temperature faces involved on coffee brewing process. So let's go ahead and use this for the test that I want to run for you right now. You got the additional content. You can add optional to enter specific instructions, requirements or additional context that we can add right here 
so it can add it to the essay. In this case, I'll keep as it is, as it is an option, okay? So let's hit next, and then we have how long do you want the content to be? I am going to keep it short for testing purposes, but you can go all the way to six pages for 3,000 word count right here. So I'm going to keep it with 500 words. Let's hit next. And then what type of essay would you like? In this case, a classic, compare contrast, argumentative, persuasive, critic, or memoir. In this case, I want to be argumentative. We want to present a position of evidence. So let's hit next. Then we're going to select the style for writing that we want to use. For example, academic, maybe you want to use school, you want to be super pro about it, or you just want to use professional, which is clear business like tone, creative. If you want to do something like blog style, then that will work really well or the custom style. In this case, I'm going to use academic. We want to keep it really professional. And then we have options to use as reference. Now there's several references available that we can use depending on the content that you are going to write. So if it's going to be, for example, a comparison, a reference to use as Harvard, you can go ahead and use that Vancouver for medical and science publications. So it depends on the content or you can use other style and use a custom formats for something like maybe in this case, something like someone who's certified for cough and that would be used as a reference. In this case, I'll hit, well, I'll keep Harvard and uh, let's see what results we're going to get because it's about coffee. Okay. So here we go. We got the essay structure. I'm going to leave it as it is. We can go ahead and modify this if we like, but we're going to go straight off to generate the essay. So we're going to finish this off. And once we get this result, you're going to notice that it's going to be AI detected. So it's going to have like a 99% detection because obviously it is written via AI but we can also humanize this with the tool. And that's one of my favorite tools about writing AI. It's humanizing all along the way, okay? So let's give it a few seconds for this to finish. All right, here we go. We just got the results, table of contents, introduction. We got the details right here. And remember, it's just a 500 word essay in this case. It's, I kept it super short just for testing purposes, okay? But right now, if I wanna humanize this, I can go ahead and take this to the humanizer. So I got the details right here and I can go ahead and humanize it right now. And it's going to start kicking in its job and humanizing. So that's one of the ways that you can use it. I'm not going to wait for this to finish, but let's go ahead and jump over to the next tool, which is the AI editor. Now, in this case, it's kind of like saying you are working on a word application, but actually inside of Rhino AI, where we can actually create projects right here and start typing in, pasting in information and use AI along the way. So, for example, here's one of the ones that I've been working on. You can go ahead and wrap any of these sections and you can actually use AI in any section. For example, ask AI, maybe you want to check the AI score for this particular paragraph right here. And this is 100% AI generated. We can replace a section we can insert a big low. We can go ahead and discard. We can go ahead and jump again to the AI and we can use proof writing, fix grammar, make shorter, make longer or continue writing. So you have several options available in the AI editor. You can go ahead and grab this. You can go ahead and download it. So in this case, I want to export this PDF because I want to use it for the reports here on Rhino AI. Okay, so let's go back into the dashboard and we're going to find this option right here. This is AI report. In this case, it's going to do its job by detecting this using Turnitin, GPT-0, Writer and Verity. All right, so all I have to do is upload a file right here. In this case, it's this one right here, document PDF. I can go ahead and submit it and we are going to get the results in a few seconds. You're also going to get an email with the report. Okay, so here we go. We got the primer preliminary results. And this is just like fast results. We're going to get another email with a more detailed report for this. Okay, so you can see right here, it's predicted obviously by most of them, except by writer. But here we go. We just got the results. If we go ahead and do another check right here using this platform. So I really love all the options available here, but the main focus is humanizing the content. So definitely, if you are looking for an AI writer that can actually humanize and bypass the most popular AI detectors, this is definitely the way to go. So now, all these features, well, you can start using them right now without the need of a credit card. So get started right now by signing up in the link in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that is a wrap.